Have you ever wondered what percent of people get fooled during each episode of Two Truths and Trash? Based on the comments, you might think it's very, very low. Luckily, I included polls on the Snapchat version of the show, so I know roughly what percent of people were tricked in each round of every episode. Warning, this video contains spoilers. If you have not tested yourself by watching each episode, you can do so by watching the playlist of season one that I'll link in the comments. For each round, I'll give you 10 seconds to review the clips and predict how many people guessed the fake correctly. You can pause if you want more time. Then I'll reveal the data. In this example, 66% of the people correctly guessed the fake, meaning 34% of the people got this round wrong. If you just want to know the final results without trying to predict, skip to around 6.45 in this video where I'll show you an overview of the data. Anyway, now it's time for you to guess how well the audience did. Good luck!
All right, so here's an overview of the data. Excluding the rounds I deemed unfair, an average of around 34% of people got each round wrong. Obviously, the difficulty of the trash video does depend on how fake looking some of the truths are, but I'll highlight the three easiest and three hardest rounds. The easiest fake to spot was the one with the pen cap, where only 8% of people were fooled, followed by the one with sprinkles and the toothbrush at 16%, and the one with hand sanitizer catching the paper towel on fire at 17%. The hardest fake to spot was the one with the desktop perpetual motion machine, where 68% of people got it wrong, followed by the malfunctioning faucet at 65%, and the one about the origin of the binary switch at 58%. If you've enjoyed this series so far and would like to support the making of more episodes, consider clicking the join button next to subscribe to become a member of my YouTube community. I place the first and only tier at just $1 a month, and your support would mean a lot. As a small bonus for supporting, you'll get priority replies in the comments and these cool emojis that you can use to make your predictions in Season 2, which will be launched in exactly one week. As a reminder, I'll be adding none were fake and multiple were fake options in Season 2. I won't abuse these mechanics because I want to stay true to the name of the game, but I might occasionally do so just to keep you on your toes and hopefully add a bit more difficulty for those requesting it to be harder. In addition, I will be trying different types of rounds in Season 2, so as those are released, I'd love your feedback in the comments. I've had a blast making this series so far. It's been a great mix of showing you cool science demos while also reminding you not to believe everything you see on the internet in the form of a game. So thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you in season two.